before we get started, I want to I want to show you something else. Look at how yellow this is. Isn't that cool? It's almost professional, but not quiet. Or quiet. Either one. Through Night, who makes some absolutely amazing flashlights, sent me another one. This one is a Through, through Night T1. The cool thing about this one is it's magnetic. This is half of a uh, projectile throwing item. And the cool thing about it is it has a uh, magnet on the other end. I know there's a lot of flashlights that have that, but this one here has got the power. A whole lot of power. And I'll tell you what else is cool about it. <laughs> and like I've told you on every time I show you something, they don't pay me to show you this stuff. They just say, hey, you want to show this to your peeps? And if they like it, they like it. And if they don't, they don't. I was like, yeah, that's cool. And uh, so I do it. But it comes with a regular clip. It comes with a new little rubber door in case you break this one off. It comes with a new one. It also comes with a couple of new little O-rings. If you can put it on your pocket, if you got like a pocket protector, you can use that. And what's neat, if you want to practice other languages, oh my goodness, here you go. Here's your opportunity. I believe you got some, uh, that's Hiragana or Katakana. I'm not sure which one. Chinese, I'm not sure. I don't see Korean. There's Japanese down there. And there's English in there too. So it's pretty awesome. You're not just getting a flashlight. But the thing, this thing is pretty cool. We'll go outside and give it a, a, a test run. Now I know that's not really fair to compare it to something like this. I mean, that is a, a, a little Walmart orange flashlight, 99 cents. Awesome little beach lights when you're looking for crabs. The other flashlight, this other one, is a fraction of the size, so you can really lose it easily if you're not using your uh, pocket protector or your uh, little strap. This one's cool. Once I forgot how to turn it on. So let's shine it down. There's your, uh, you can't see that. I can't see that. Can you see that? Let's turn it off and see. We need a darker spot. Where are the frogs? You heard the frogs? Oh, mur, 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 mur. I sprayed the yard with a, which I don't like doing. I sprayed the yard with some uh, bug killer because I walked through the yard like twice and got ticks on me. Here, follow the orange light, and then you'll know where to go. Oh, we gotta hear the chicken central. Okay, that thing is still not sharing anything incredible. Long story short, here's the other one. That joker's pretty bright eyed, isn't it? And what's cool about it is you can hold the button down this and it'll change its tone for you I like that so let's say you just want to slip around in stealth mode you can with that then it kind of stays there check this joker out not that not that I like that option and then when you turn it back on it kind of has a memory but look they're kind of getting ready to, to grow. It's popped out pretty big. Anyway, I'll put the link to this light on the uh, about thingy or the video description. Isn't that cool? It's not a gigantic one. It's just a uh, little backwash one. There better only be two birds in there. Let's go do something else. I failed to mention this, this one does... Uh, simply charge up with the USB which is awesome because you can just plug it in and let it sit there which is cool that's a cat absolutely beautiful day and flowing packs of moisture 
There's an entire school of fi over there. What we're gonna do is travel upstream. There's gonna be a lot of railroadiana off in these creeks for sure. I'm not sure there'll be anything else. These railroad tracks have been here since they put them all down. Probably mid 1800s to late now, and they're still used today. So, what we're gonna do is meander and wander through here. I already need to take my glasses off. I'm gonna keep yours on. There's a little handle off of something. Here's the stopping point for everything that doesn't make it through. My glasses back on. Oh, that is either a big fish or a snake that went under there. There's only eight ways to find out. We're going to choose the first one. Oh, it is a snake. Now that's a fishy looking snake. Oh, I missed it. We got to see it, don't we? Northern water snake, Midland water snake, or that's a heavy rock, or a wait for it. Let's look over here while we wait for it. Oh, there it is over there. Hey, you slick little booger. Did y'all see it? I didn't get a good glimpse. Look at that green railroad spike. That is so cool. If I don't rub all the green off, it will be a pretty neat picture. The fuzzy green railroad spike. Brought to you from Exploring Alabama. This is a 100% inner city creek. I have yet to meet the city though, because I'm just above it. That's downstream, so we're upstream. We'll go downstream in a little while. That may have to be a whole separate video. Everything in here has been in here a while because it's green. Look at that green railroad spike. I guess they're all going to be green. Put it right there. See, my thought process was 
many, many moons ago when you would take an old train down through here. When back in the day you could hang your arms out the window and throw stuff out the window, this is where it would be. So that's the process. That's how I got there. And then I came here. Wish we could have caught that snake. Let's see what kind it is. When I woke up this morning, it's still pretty early, but when I woke up this morning, I uh, looked in the mirror and I had these pillow wrinkles all over my face. I thought, wow, I must have slept good. But then I realized a lot of them didn't go away when my person started waking up and all my insides started catching up with my outsides. So I'm supposing a clear sign of getting older is when your pillow wrinkles don't go away as quickly or at all. I have located my first bottle. There it is. It has been poured in there with the concrete and the rocks. That's moving. She's a smallie. There's an H on the bottom. It's a one twist willy, I can tell by the top. We're gonna harvest. I was making a video the other day and I accidentally hit reset on my GoPro instead of format for the card. Now the back screen times out. I know there's a setting where you can do a never timeout but uh, it doesn't seem to be affecting the back screen going half dark, which is not a big deal. It's just easier to make sure y'all can see when I can see what you're seeing. Huh, there's an 1800 cellular telephone. Look kids. Actually, 1900s. That's what cell phones look like in the 1900s. I was stretching the truth. I lost it. We're going to uh, sandblast it. Then we'll harvest. And we will man purse it.
Look, Jim. Water's not flowing real hard, but I'm going to send you this. Check on it when we get back. Mount Hot Free. That's the smell of the taco. I'm irritating a kill deer, which is a bird. Because I'm walking in its uh, swimming pool. Now there is another town on up that way. Here's you a piece of railroad track. That would make a nice anvil. The town's a pretty good wall. And that could be where some of these, a uh, little bit of the urban artifacts come from. It's looking like just railroadianas in here. Oh, they want a snake. You see this little head poking out? There it is. It almost came my way. Oh, it's a big hole. Beautiful. Y'all see it? I don't want to hurt it. I 
Okay, let's just do this right. It's okay that I just scratched my finger real bad because I had a tetanus shot. Where did it go? Slick little fella. I don't know where it went. Let's move along. We'll find another one. There's an old porcelain pot. A little bit of blue left on it right there. Look at all the railroad tracks in here. Clean Creek. We're running down the side of the tracks out of town. I mean, we're getting a little more Bagville, but I wonder what kind of machine stands these up and drives them into the ground. Probably a pretty impressive one. So both the snakes we've seen, I believe were, uh, I mean, I know they were water snakes. They're non-venomous. The majority of them I see are dark, and those have some pretty brilliant colors. Look at that snake skin right there. Now that's a bee feeder, wherever that one is. It's around here somewhere, probably in this deep hole where it knows all the fish are. We're in a tree about to fall on my head. This would be a nice little uh, wading hole if it was uh, 150 years ago. I'm trying to figure out the best route because it kind of gets deep right here and slick. Two things that will put moisture in your face.
Ooh, I about did it then. I spread the mouth open extra wide on my gripper trying to catch myself. Everybody's okay though. I changed my battery. I wonder what was going on. And they put these little tiny cheap tabs on the top where you pull it back out of your camera. This battery has gotten so hot it's swollen on the sides and it wouldn't come out. So it popped. So I have to uh, replace it with a cool one. Last time my camera was overheating. Come on, get snapped together. The last time it was overheating was because it needed an update. So I've done all the updates. I actually sent one GoPro back because of that. So maybe this one will last. There's not much in here at all. And the water's warm enough where the snakes don't actually have to come out in sun on the back on the rocks because it's already so hot in here. Trying to get around without filling up my boots, and it's not going to happen right here due to this prickly tree. I took a road, I came across, I was over there by that bush. So now we're right here getting a full visual. Taking out things. Hey, we made it. Might have picked up a few ticks along the way. There's another pretty impressive snake skin. Look at that one. That one's got the head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Yeah, it used to, until I just picked it up. <laughs> Just about did the dance. Oh, it's kind of blue. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's get up here and jam on down. to here and see what's in here. Well, this could pose a problem if there's no walking territory on the left. Huh. I need to calibrate my grippers. There we go. Calibration complete. I got a feeling that this is going to get deeper than the boot. Yeah, it is. That ain't cool. I guess we could go out right there and walk around it all. We gotta get up there. There's a bridge up there. 
I know what you're thinking. Dude, just lean on those and, and walk it. Okay, I'm turn the camera off. We'll do that. I cheated. I didn't run that wall. I couldn't get a full grippability like that with my uh, feet. So now we're headed back down there. All right, we're in. Now we need to get a visual on this baseball and see if uh, Hank Williams or Hank Jr. one or two signed it. I don't think so. There's a squirrel. <laughs> Domino's card. Oh, look. Doesn't look broken either. I'm not a collector of these things. Number three, because they're so big and heavy. But I guess I'll harvest it. Just because I've never found a complete one in an inner city creek. As I was man pursing that massive piece of glass, I saw that tag on my car right there. Let's guess the date. Oh, it's not on. It's gone. No date. Uh, this is a, a a glasses off tunnel for me. You should be able to still see still S seashells by the seashore. Ooh, there's a ball a la basket. Jim, I would send you this. I mean, it's only a $5 Walmart ball. I know, because I purchase them often. Actually, it's a pretty good ball. We might have a gander at that on the way back through. I see a hubcap. I believe it's plastic. I'm not gonna take my person over there to get a visual. Yeah, it's plastic. Got choices. I think it's gonna be this way. Goodness, look at all the trash. Now we're getting into a uh, populated zone. This is where the uh, the snakes hang out, and they sleep really deep. That was a nice little visit. Now we gotta get through there. Now that the snake is gone. I tripped all over that stuff climbing through there. I'm trying to be ever so gentile. So let's go.
Oh my goodness. There's another one. It's broken on the side. I'm not gonna take it. Oh, that was a big old snake. Oh, we missed it. Oh, hey. oh wait a minute. Hold it now, hold it now, wait. Ooh, harvest. Water moccasins are a whole nother story. They are aggressive. They generally, something else is found in water. They generally don't run. And they want to visit you real close. And remind you who they are. So if you're ever doing this, especially Inner City Creek, because that's where all the reptiles are gonna gravitate to. Out in the country, yeah, you may see a snake every now and then, but when you get in the middle of a city in a creek like this, everything wants a drink of the moisture. Let's get through here. Pipe or shotgun? Pipe. I wonder why I can't see. I don't have my glasses on. That whole hillside is railroad tracks.
Yeah, I'm pretty impressed with how clean this creek is. We've got a long walk back. So figure out how long this video is. And then when the video is over, just sit there and stare at your computer that much longer again, however long the video was. And that's about how long it takes me to get back. You know, my videos average, what, five to 10 minutes? So then I gotta sit there five or 10 minutes. There's nothing in here. I wonder if I can get out somewhere down here and call it Uber. Uberlicious. Problem is, I don't know where the street number is. What the street number is where I got in here. But I don't know how to get there. I need to get out of all these trees so we can uh, really get a visual up there it's looking a little better a little bit further you know i thought this was a creek with no name until i saw this brick and this spider running my arm somebody sent me an email making fun of me because i'm afraid of dogs and spiders i wasn't going to bring that up just to give them the i don't want to give them the satisfaction of knowing i saw it But I know they're still watching. I want to see what this brick says. Okay, I'll pick it up. That is a monstrous brick. So I will not be taking it out of here. It's upside down. One thing about being underwater, everything's magnified. I need something to uh, like do like a pencil. Or something behind a piece of paper. I don't know what it says. Maybe now it's upside down. I'm done with that game. Let's name this creek though, if you can figure it out. I'm getting hungry, so I know the video is too long. There's a sign. I wonder what that sign says. No trespassing. Get out of my water. Any ideas with that used to? I don't know. It may just be a cover off something. Should I take it? stamped well this is going to be another abrupt ending i hate to end it so quickly but my friend daniel mfd said in my direction so we're going to uh have a little chit chat and uh we'll do this again so anyway thanks for watching my videos